Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my art room. I'm Shameen. Today we are working on my word of the year canvas. So I created this. It's really pretty and super, super easy and it's a great mixed media project. I hope that you'll give some of these techniques a try. So first I am working on an eight by eight canvas. I'm going to take it out of the package and then I just have a bunch of different collage papers here and I have my deco arts decoupage glue and I'm going to start by gluing down all my pieces. So just pick whichever pieces you want and glue them down to your canvas. So simple very very easy i even have magazine pages here i made those beautiful i think those are tea roses or coffee roses um and they're so pretty i love them um you can actually get a scan of that in my etsy store they're so pretty and then i have just a bunch of different papers i even have some textured wallpaper which is really fun to use tissue paper, just all sorts of fun stuff. Lots of book pages because you guys know how much I love book pages, but I kind of just went with very neutral colors with just a little pop of like pinks and purples. So it was really fun. And this is such a fun, relaxing technique <laughs> to do. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of contrast. You guys know I like to add a little bit of black. So this is just some white circles that I made. I think I did a I think I made them on wax paper. I did a video on Instagram <laughs> of that one. Um, so really fun. And then I have this gold tissue paper, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to add that and just layered on. I love adding tissue paper at the end because you get that pop of color, but it's transparent. So you can see the layers underneath. But I'm in love with this rose painted paper it's like my favorite thing so <laughs> I'm just gonna keep adding more and then I got this idea I put on that little piece of white tissue and I was like you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add an entire piece of it on there but first I'm gonna add some texture so I just have some gesso and this stencil and it just creates really beautiful texture I think it's not even a stencil I think it's like a uh, doily that someone sent me but <laughs> it works out really great and it gives really beautiful texture then I'm going to grab these watercolors that are gorgeous and I'm going to just apply some colors they have lots of metallic colors in this set so the whole um, left side of the palette is um, metallic colors so I'm just going to keep playing with that get something I like and just add color very very gently um, with my watercolors which is always fun and I just keep adding that it's really fun to play with texture add a little bit of splatters and the great thing about this is that it's all going to be pushed back because as I said I got this idea from <laughs> just putting down that piece of tissue paper and it's so fun to experiment with your art you never know where things are going to take you so I'm going to bring it up close so you can see it I let it dry fully I was so excited about this texture that I was talking to myself. Now I'm gonna get just a plain piece of white tissue paper and I'm gonna put it on top of this beautiful background. And then I'm going to layer on um, some of the glue on top or the medium. And um, it has wrinkles and crinkles and I absolutely love it. Then I let that dry and then I'm just going to tear off the edges very, very easily. You can even use an emery board too to take off those edges. If you took my mixed media canvas class, you know that trick. But um, it works out very, very well. Sandpaper works too. And I'm just going to kind of finish that up. And then I thought about how can I add my word? And then I looked up on top of my little stand and I saw gold foil. So that's what I'm going to use. So I just take some of my medium and I'm going to spell out the word T. Um, trust, which is my word of the year because I need to just trust um, and not be so anxious. So that's what I want to take into this new year. That's kind of my theme of this year is just to trust that everything will come together and I just need to do my part <laughs> so and also to trust myself too because there's lots of things that I want to do and sometimes I talk myself out of them so I think this will be a really good word for me so I'm just going to kind of go through and glue down the pieces of foil all over my canvas um, this did take a little while <laughs> <laughs> and you could have just tucked like a paint pin and that would have worked out great but I really wanted this shine and um, you'll see in the in the first clip that I did that I did add a little bit of 
black um, Stabilo All Pencil to kind of grunge it up. You did not need to do that step. I think it would be very subtle if you didn't do that step, but I really like the way that it turned out. But you don't have to do that. I think the gold foiling is enough. <laughs> So um, for this, uh, it can, I wait for it to dry and then I'll kind of fill in the letters again because you can't quite see where the glue is. So that can be a little bit tedious. And then the great part about it is once it dries, you just rub it off and it's like magic. <laughs> you can see all your letters clearly. So I let this dry and now I'm just going to take just a rough brush and just brush everything away. And then I'm going to clean up the letters too. So super super simple i love the way that it looks even now and then i'm going to go back in and just fill in the letters so you can actually see that it says the word trust and that's it so i love this little sign it's so cute it's hanging on my wall and i get to look at it and it's such a beautiful word so tell me what your word of the year is below or if you have a goal that you want to complete this year i would love to hear and i appreciate all you guys' support please don't forget to like and subscribe um, and turn on those notifications so that way you can see all the videos that i am that I have on my channel. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of texture. So I have some rose gold here, deco arts, and I'm gonna paint the edges and then those areas where I have texture, I'm actually gonna rub in a little bit of the metallic gold paint. So super exciting, it's a fun project. I hope that you will at least try a few of these techniques. So much fun, so simple. I've had this footage, I did do this on the 31st, but I've been crazy busy with the start with the mark challenge. So um, doing the videos and all that fun stuff, which is so much fun and seeing everyone's amazing art, which has blown me away and give me so many ideas. It's great. So if you haven't followed that, that challenge, please check it out. It's amazing. We're going to do a live um, on Saturday. So you're welcome to join us. I will put a link so you can sign up. But thank you so much for joining me. It was such a fun project. I really enjoyed this. It's been a while since I did mixed media, um, but I love it. It's still my, definitely one of my first loves, <laughs> all those beautiful layers. And I'm just gonna take my fingers and I just rub it in. Um, I used to teach in-person classes and I would just call this the rub <laughs> just to get the texture, but it's so fun and super, super easy. And this is how it looks. I'm going to do one final wrap and that's it. I'll see you guys for next week's video and I hope that you have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for joining me and bye bye. See you next time. Mm -hmm.